These are the super craziest snooker moments. Oh, Miss Q, it's all happening. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Bonkers. I don't think I've seen a flute like that before in my life. It was the Miss Q's turn up, the Q had snapped. And he screwed back off a of Miss Q. Six. I don't Settle think down, that please. shot Thank even... you. Yeah, well, it doesn't even exist, does it, a shot like that? Where you can Miss Q screw back and be on the red? Goodness me. Peter Ebden executes a flawless snooker, yet unfortunately, luck wasn't on his side. Have a look at this. He's going to be unlucky, is he? No, what a great shot. Doesn't want the pink to go in. Can you believe it? Peter Ebden Even six. Peter Ebden has to smile. Five. That was James so unlucky, Willie. Can you believe what's just happened there? Well, one of the most amazing shots I've ever seen at the Crucible, that. That would have been a tough snooker to hit, as it is. The in-off's gone, the pink's gone in, so Jamie Coe goes 2-0 in front. Leading to Judd Trump's flying snooker shot. Make sure the red goes in and worry about the next shot. Oh, well. Wow. Well. Wow. I mean, you would never think the keyboard was going to go on the floor there, would you? From that shot. Now, Phil, I think you're lost for words, aren't you? You've not, not, you've not moved since that shot took place. Strange shots happening in this match. Coming to Judd Trump's incredible stroke of luck on the snooker table. Where's the brown ball going? Would you believe it? The things that happen on a 12 foot the 6 snooker table is sometimes beyond belief. Hmm. What do you think is going through Ali Carter's mind? I think it's, well, Judd, that was slightly fortunate. Just a little bit. Crazy Judd Trump misses an unexpected pink that cost him a triple crown title. He's missed it. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Mm, that will hurt Judd Trump. New Robertson. Pots is pink. That will hurt Judd Trump for a long time. Those misses for titles leave scars. Judd lost the title as Neil Potts the pink in the next shot. And it's there. What an incredible... Six. He's looking Seven at the much. scoreboard. He's not Seven sure, much. but you've won the title, Neil Robertson. In the list, Sean Murphy's unlucky shot on the crucial black that cost him a frame against Purcell. I just looked up to, as in the commentary box says, if he's going to try and cut it in the middle. It doesn't look possible to cut it back in the middle. And if he does, really, where's the cue ball going to go? Because he won't know. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, Five. would you believe it? Would you Look believe it? Seven in the frame. Well, what a tremendous cutback that was from Sean. But he knew full well the power he had to inject into that black. Couldn't control the cue ball. He's been very fortunate. He's enough to applaud his opponent's fair effort there. Leading to David Gilbert's unbelievable double on the last red of 147 break. Say he couldn't hold for the black. Hmm. Come on, Dave, you're due a fluke. Coming up, Ronnie O'Sullivan's thinnest cut on a snooker table. Foul. You miss. I'll check it, Ronnie. Ronnie thinks it yeah. touched. Yeah. Uh, That's right. He can always check it on the monitor. We can show you if it moved. Oh. I think it moved. Yeah. I think it did. I mean, well, if Ronnie's seen that he's yeah, got the perfect it. eyesight it's not a foul it touched the red it touched the red it yeah the red. well tell you what Ronnie <laughs> next up Neil's luck takes a turn for the worse as the black ball rolls in black obstructing black. his path to the pink shot. yes that's the shot now has he covered oh. the pocket has he covered the pocket I think he has you know this frame is not over yet it's all happening wow another twist in the tail what a start. 14, what a start to this tour championship final. I thought the, the big turning point in the match was at 5-4. He was in the balls at 5-4 and Paul Collier, the referee, missed a blatant push. Uh, it was quite obvious to me and to anyone that was watching at home, they could probably, probably see that, no problem. Well, I thought he fouled that then. No. I thought he hit the white twice, did he, John? Mm. Well, referee Paul Collier was having a good close look. Let's have a, let's just have a look. However, it's silly that he himself did not notice this obvious double contact with a cue ball in the Scottish Open. Oh. 
Yeah, it did, didn't it? Look, that Mark wouldn't have felt it, but I think he did touch that, that didn't he? The cue ball. Certainly did look as though he inadvertently cued the white before he actually did, and well, there you go. Well, Alan, there's no way Alan would have known of that because he'd be the first to hold his hand up. But in the event, of course, he's missed the blue anyway. Stop, stop. Make sure you're on the list, is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm... Is that the name on the list? No, it should be Ronnie O'Sullivan. Playing to that one o'clock. Oh, you're the player? Yeah, do you want to let me in? Oh, uh, yeah. You sure? Well, can I just make sure you're on the list first? Give you permission. Really? I'm playing in five minutes. Have you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Quit, I'm going to be late. They're gonna, one, one second, they're gonna dock me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. That's it. And then my missus is gonna hate me. And in the to Mark Selby's stroke of bad luck, just as he was making a comeback in the game, playing the pink to move the, the black out here, just screw up the line and try and leave an angle on the yellow to try and get onto the green. He'd love to put the white where the brown is. He's trying to bring the green into play. Oh no! Don't go in off. How oh, unlucky oh. is that? Mark Selby won. Wow. Well, what a shame the matches had to end that way. Just when it was getting excited, it looked almost for certain that Mark Selby was going to... A brutal foul from David Gilbert. Foul. And frame. Paul Davison. Coming to Ding Junhui's fortunate shot secured him the frame and ultimately the match. Well, what were we saying earlier, D David? It's best to get the look at the end. And that was a tremendous amount of luck. He finally clinched the frame with that lucky shot, leaving Mark stunned. 61. Yes, well great played. clearance from Ding Junhui of 56. Mark Selby, well, he was unlucky. And finally, a rare moment at Ali Pali as the electricity cuts off. It's a bit of a first. Certainly, I've never experienced this in the seven or eight years I've been helping out at World Snooker. It's a, a, a power cut around Ali Pali. It's nobody's fault. It's one of those things. The audience are sitting firm whilst we wait to find out whether we get a generator moving or whether the power comes back on externally but we basically need a big plug to be put back in the socket so that we can get on with this Daffabet Masters. A really unusual situation but uh, everyone's taking it in good spirits so far.